comrades, Revere River, and I am back because we are laying rail. <laughs> and we have a few things to take care of to make sure that that's going well, but but it is going. I, you can see I bought two red buses. That's about the only thing I did. Let's get this uh, thing back on. And look, I did the update. So we are on the test version. So if the series ends very abruptly because all my files become corrupted, We'll know, but I, but I think I gave it a few weeks or however long to to get going, so that if any of the mods were having a problem, hopefully they'll learn about it. Uh, but the, probably the most notable thing I did between the episodes, besides obviously get the get the test version going, is to is to get some more trucks kind of coming down to here. So we got this cargo station built. So I have these trucks, which will be what I'm considering like regular deliveries into here for steel and prefab panels and bricks. All right. And then I have an extra steel truck in there. So hopefully we'll be able to keep up with the steel that we need and the prefabs. Now I also have quite a few vehicles that are still coming here after they get done dropping off at Reverville. And, and I'm just going to be micromanaging where we drop things, you know, just because we have the trucks and it's until we get these trains going yeah, it's just, it's just going to be a while. So I did get a couple comments that I want to address before we get into too much during this episode. One is, let's see here. I was purchasing cement and still am. Let's take this off of purchase, right? So we're not going to purchase cement at the prefab panels factory. I took our extra cement truck off of here. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I don't know that we need a cement truck there, but at the same time... This next bridge is like a cement bridge where it needs pretty much all cement. And I'm not sure if we're going to need to put another cement truck, like two of them, into here. So I'll try to keep an eye on that. But that's definitely the next project after this bridge is built is that we're going to get well, this in the road and then get this one built. And then eventually I'd really like to get this wooden one replaced at that point, but... Yeah, that's sort of like the last project. And who knows, maybe we'll work on it. It sort of depends on what materials are here. Like if we have we have the prefab panel, so in some ways there's no reason not to work on that. But I also want to make sure we're prioritizing getting over here because, just so you know, the reason for the big push over this way is to get set up with getting some oil from, from the oil islands over there. Which is what we're going to work on next after I talk about one or two other comments that I got. One of the comments that I got, and, and I, I don't know, I, I don't want to sound argumentative at all, because I really don't mean to be. There are plenty of circumstances in life where I have turned down the number of people that are in going to this hospital, right? But I'm getting this comment that there's somehow something wrong with using the bus stops to send people to where you want them to go work, right? Like in this case, I know I'm not going to have the maximum number of people in here, right? And I don't feel like turning this down to like, say, 10 in order to make sure I have like 20 here or whatever the exact ratio we need is, right? Like I would rather just send them using this because in other words, I can say that whatever number you get here, I want 14%, 14%, 14%. I don't have to sit there and try to balance out these three and then try to balance it all with these right like if you have plenty of extra people it's my general opinion that it's better to do the cutting down through the hospital as opposed to trying to assign people to different places right like you know here i have a mostly going to the platform but going to the kindergarten now eventually i will get rid of that and i'll just come in and say okay well one of these houses like just get rid of the whole thing and just have these people go over there but i guess one of the reasons i'm reacting like there was a certain bit of, of of a oh my gosh you're not doing that how can that be possible it's like it's about time you get that done it's like i have a hundred less than a hundred unemployed workers out of two you know what i mean we're doing fine here and I, and I would bet you money that if we were to be able to figure out where they were they're probably mostly up here because i haven't paid that much attention to what's going on up here and and you know there's like, I really never maximized out the busing and the buses and where people are going up up in this in this area. So I just wanted to mention that. I mean, I, I, 
fine. I mean, if I understand that you don't do it the way I do it, I'm, uh, that's great. But I don't necessarily see that there's such a great benefit to either way. It's sort of more of a preference, I think. And in this particular case, I think it's doing great. Look at that. Splits them up perfectly. You know, divides the. I mean, I'm dividing them up where I want to go from these two stops in this particular case. So it's a little bit extra complicated. <laughs> but in any event. Um, thing I want to do. Oh, let's make sure this is getting built. Yeah, this is like ASAP. Because our workers for our trains, there's no... These buses, when they get down here, they have to drive like a country mile, which is a long mile, which is like, you know, like two kilometers <laughs> as opposed to like 1.6. Right, let's and then we'll get this guy working on it as well, because why not? Yeah, I'm not sure this, I'm not sure with the scrolling on everything, if I'm liking that 100%. All right, yeah, we'll get both of them up. Oh, you're already, are you already assigned to that? Or am I on the... Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, is this one assigned? Yeah. So this guy's not assigned up too much over here. So we should talk about what he's going to do next. And we'll just, for now, I think, yeah, you know what I'm thinking of is I'm thinking that we just build one stretch of this. Like, I don't think I'm going to build this around the backside quite yet, right? So let's let this guy do his thing. And then when we can get split here, we're going to drive through here and I'm going to have them build like each side as best we can. We might even, yeah, well, we can do this. Let's, let's just see, right? In other words, I, I want them to, I really want them to get into here building. And if we have limited supplies, which we kind of do at this point, then I don't want to spend too many of my supplies building this backside until I get that supply loop worked out, All right? Because it's really, I really want, you know, to get people <laughs> moved around here better. There we go. Crashed. All righty. Does this feel like deja vu to you? Does <laughs> that sound for rhyming? It's because we are now off of the new test version because that was just a crash for absolutely no reason. And that's the kind of thing that is the exact reason I'm not on the test version while I'm trying to use all these different mods, right? Spent a lot of time on the test version before. I don't know what I did. You guys saw it as much as I did. So we're going to start time back up. I don't think I missed anything in particular. Uh, like, I don't think I did that much, right? Um, we did assign this to be built. Let's go back and do that again. Oh, this is already okay. I already assigned that. This is this is like I said, reset back to the beginning, and then here we're working, and we're getting this. So I did, like I said, I got more supplies being brought down here into this area, and eventually I'd like to sort of make this like a, a bit of a hub where we would run stuff down to here, get it full with these vehicles, and then and then go back over to you know, like here and grab more stuff and just bring it down. And then when it comes to shuffling stuff across the river, what we'll do is we'll like, I'll just have a truck that comes into our supply depots that are over there. So what I would like to do in this episode is I was going to do more of the distributions. That's, that's the main reason. And, and in particular, because I want to start looking at building a town over here and, you know, using the new distribution system, but I'm not putting up with like, crashes and all that stuff because it's a little it's just annoying to me and it's just I know it's coming I've played too many games I'm, I'm not an old man but I'm old enough I've been playing games for 30 years you know you mix test versions with mods <laughs> and you're going to get crashes I just you know I mean, if you don't you're just as lucky as sin you know it's just it's just the way it is I mean it's been that way for like I said, 30 years. Not that they really had mods back 30 years ago, but you get the idea. So anyway, so what I want to do is I want to take this road and move it a little bit further back this way. And I'll show you why. Because I was thinking, yeah, I'm just going to 
Yeah, see, that's kind of getting up a hill there. Yeah, let's just take this like here. All right, and the reason is, I was looking over here in between the episodes while I was just letting some time pass. So here's Oil Island, and somebody had left me a comment a while ago that I didn't forget. You know, I don't even know if I, I mean, I try to acknowledge all the comments, and I really hadn't messed with these things. Yeah, so what do we want? Infrastructure. These harbors, right? Like, let's just say we wanted this big cargo harbor. Really need to stick out into the water quite a bit. And I don't necessarily want my oil production, like, all the way up here, right? So in other words, we're, we're going to do oil production for these islands, and we could maybe come here. I don't know if it's an issue with, yeah, see, like, this this whole area might need to be modified. And I don't necessarily want it, I'm just picturing, like, going out onto these islands and getting the oil. Like, so we could do it, like, out here, right? But we're also starting to get further away. But this is actually, I think, probably a pretty good place to do it, right? We could actually have the oil... You know, like the oil thing here. I have to do some flattening of the cliffs of Dover there. But, um, you know, we, we could get these up in here like this. Does that make sense? And then, you know, having said that, I would probably put the oil production like over in this area, right? So then like right down here would be where we would have like the dock maybe to take some, some oil around the map. Right, we have dock, you know, like so. I'm picturing, you know, someplace else we might have like this. There's iron and whatnot down here. Maybe we have, you know, production of certain things where we could drop oil off at the different various locations. <laughs> I know that seems kind of crazy, but in some ways, to me, it does. All right, so let's go back here and finish. Yeah, where is this hill? Man, let me just put on the wireframe for half a second. Man, let's just stay. Away from that hill like that doing that as much for a marker as anything else I'll take off the wireframe because I will immediately start building square to the thing it's a mental disorder that I think I have so here's what I'm picturing that we have oil island and we have oil flowing in so we might have like oil an oil tank or two here could even have an oil tank or over here or something we'll we'll see but we'll have oil rigs you know all mostly over here and pumps and all that kind of thing and they'll pump oil in you know coming out this way so i'm thinking like maybe like right in this area if there's enough room we'll put in a i think i just want a regular even if we have a mod i think i just want a regular and i don't i don't know that i do have a mod but just regular old oil refinery and then what i would do is say yeah these are the audis so let's that's the innies. So we'd want the innies down this way. Well, maybe we do it. Yeah, that road is really kind of in the opposite. Yeah, that's all right. At least we have a people walking thing on this side. Like, all right, so what I'm thinking is just sort of we'll keep it a little bit further this way. All right, so then oil can come out here and in here so because it's all going to come out let me put this road in like kind of first so that we know uh, yeah. oh yeah it's a shame too because we would have had better road tools <laughs> but isn't that funny i li literally I mean, I did try it out, by the way, and I did move around, and I played with it a little bit. Not today, like when the mod thing first came out, but it's just funny that within like six minutes of me doing that, the darn thing crashes. <laughs> I really didn't set that up to prove my point or anything. You guys saw it. I, I wasn't... It just it crashed. I mean, it's just, you know, it's crap to sit there and fight with that crap, and it's hard enough to make these videos and try to make them decent without sitting there worrying about... You know, every time something like that's going to happen. Yeah, let's keep this back this way a little bit. All right, so there's a train station. We can have a footpath that goes from here to there. And then we can have some tracks that 
Yeah, I don't want to get too close to the water right there, right? But these this would be like mostly for for people. Right? And then that can kind of parallel here. More or less. Right, so we would have, you know, this is passenger line that would bring people up to work in the in the factories. Or in the in the refinery. And I know I'm thinking of something. And then yeah, I'm not gonna worry about laying all this out. We're little ways. I just sort of wanna set up the scenario so that we kind of can come together on this town over here and talk about what we're going to do over here as far as that goes. So we have this bridge that eventually will bring supplies in, and then we have this set up here, which is, you know, mostly like construction supplies, but this is where I was going to get into the new distribution center a little bit, which we can always add later. Like, I mean, I've played with it enough that that's the other thing about me not being in a huge rush to have the grain crashing all the time is is the fact that we can you know then like just kind of bring things into here or if we you know like I, if i have a place that we're bringing food to i can always come up later on and you know do something as far as like putting in that distribution center and having it grab the food from here and taking it to the stores so so i did i did think of that in the past now Enough about the new update that we don't have anymore. Let's come here and get rid of this. And what I'm thinking of is, is I don't, like, I want the town to be somewhere over here. But I also would like the possibility of a, uh, like, the construction stuff. So if we, and if we put that in it, we want it to be kind of close to town, but not so close we get pollution. And in other words, I want the concrete and or cement and yeah, concrete and asphalt plants. Is that in here? Yeah, see, so like if we had a concrete plant, right, we could put that like say here. And would we ever have concrete being brought up here by, you know, I don't see, we're not gonna do concrete trains or cement trains. It just, I did it in the last one and it's, it's just such overkill and, and the cement plants work out fine because they they you know you can park two trucks in them so you can always have that cement truck sitting in there and it usually doesn't make too much difference to your cement production at that point so then we have that sticking out right the other thing we need is an asphalt plant yeah it's a little bit of a shame yeah, I think I would do it like this. Yeah, for reasons. All right, and so we're going to do that. And then we could do conveyors. All right, because we could put a conveyor. Here, let's zoom in so you guys can see. All right, we could do like a conveyor. Uh, we're going to be able to get that. Let's just see. Can I get a... This isn't that important, but... Oops. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a road through there. I don't know that I need to. Yeah. Could we do it the opposite way? Sometimes you can. That's all right. It, it's just the road for the for the thing, all right? Because this road could come in. I mean, I'm thinking I would do something like this. That look reasonable. All right. So there's cement and asphalt, which would need to be connected to probably just a small storage. Big storages. 
uh, are so big, right? Yeah, and this would be like this. Oh, yeah, here's where we could really use. Man, well, well, I'll try to hold it back as far as I can. I'm hoping. Yeah, this is where we could really use the road fitting through. Which it looks like it will. Good. Let's run that a little bit long and then. can attach to there eventually. Yeah, we can make it a bit better. Alright, so there's gravel. And then what we would do, let's see, where is our train track? Yeah, we're still kind of okay with our... Like, I'm wondering if we're getting too far out this way. See how we're, we're in the way of the train thing there? But what, what I'm hoping is... Let's come back to... Train aggregate unloading. Yeah, that would work. Except I'd want the road over this way. All right, and we would keep it back this way as much as is reasonable. Oh, but I don't want to be too close to that. All right, so then we would have road to there and then the pipeline will still be able to get in and out of here that I want to show you in a minute because because I would maybe plan on an asphalt tank here with the train I don't know if we're gonna have a train for asphalt but and we're gonna be relatively close but so we'll see how that works out but let's go ahead back to railroad and I want to do Let's, I want to come out straight a little tiny bit and then turn kind of slowly. I, I really don't picture there being two trains coming in and out of there, but let's get rid of all of that. All right, so we need to get this, which is the train. to here All right and then what I'm thinking of is we have two more that end up going around this guy Because eventually we're going to want some kind of train, I'm imagining, like going this way. Now the problem with this is, is that if a train comes up here, right, and drops off gravel, they're not necessarily, if we do this, then they're not going to be able to get the other way, are they? No. Well, they could go through. Yeah. Yeah, they could go through. All right, so let's keep this. Yeah, let me turn on the wireframe just so I can see where the hill is. All right, I think we'll be fine. All right, it sort of boxes in our city a little bit, but then, yeah, what we would have... Yeah, I think I would even use this one, maybe. All right, so they could come in either way there, and then we'll get rid of all of this, which is kind of good because I was a little worried about how that would work out with our... Connecting to the actual road, railroad, right? And we'll, we can leave that swinging wide, but let's come off of let's come off of here. Right, 
bring that into there. And then this guy, it's a little tough coming off of corners here. Oh, come on, break free. Free yourself. All right, so if he comes in here, he could turn around and go back out. I'm assuming there, and the gravel trains are like the shorter ones. So, and these gravel platforms are so long. I'm not too worried about his ability to get in there and then back out. All right, but there we go. So now we have the train coming in here, dropping all that off. Now what we don't have is this hooked up, but I think we could maybe come off of here. Always do your inside turn first. All right, so now can these guys get in and out of here? No. Yeah, let's... All right, that guy could be like that. Let's just see if we can make it one project. All right, and then this guy needs to get over to here. Yeah, will you go? No. He's building in the way. All right, so that this guy could... Now, the problem is there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to step that back. Now that I think about it, we're going to have all different kinds of trains coming in there. All right, so let's get rid of the fact that I made it two projects. All right, so in other words, if we get a long train... <laughs> It's, it's better to have the train sitting out here waiting to come in. Like we can have this be like a relatively long, like run in, so to speak. Then, because they're going to have to come back out this way, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll start this guy here. Yeah, that's better. Because right? there's no trains going to be longer than those. So that, that'll be better. So there we go. So they'll come in here. They'll spin around here. Now, if they want to come back out, yeah, this will be a bit of a mess of an intersection, but it's all right. All right. Can we get rid of this? Yeah, is that? Yeah, that'll make it a little bit, a few less nodes. This, this will not be the best intersection, but but that's all right, right? It's a little bit tight. And again, I don't expect too much. We're not having massive things here. Like <laughs> This is not going to be a massive map playthrough that's going to last. I mean, it might last 100, 240 episodes, but it's not going to be because I have like mega super everything big like I was sort of doing in the last one. I'd rather be a little bit more refined. And and by the way, I'm feeling like we're just finally getting to that point where I could be refined, right? Let's speaking of refined, let's see how is our refinement of this going? Yeah, no prefab panels. Yeah, we have prefab panels here, but no construction. Okay. Okay, so you stopped constructing. Yeah, I think even though we have two of these you know what, let's send this guy out. These guys are going to conflict, but I want to... Right? I want to... I don't know that I want to construct this all the way around here just yet. I think I'd rather see... Yeah, that's... There's no real way over to this one. We'll see. All right, we'll get both of these constructing and then... Because really, here's what I'm thinking. Oh, we need to confirm all of this, don't we? 
what I'm thinking is that we really want this to be built, right? <laughs> like I don't, I don't need to spend a lot of time building all this other stuff, and, and not even so much the time, but the materials. So let's see how we we hold up with with that, and then um, yeah, let's commit to commit to some of these tracks here. All right. And then, speaking of these tracks, how are we doing with? Did we get our little construction office going here? Yes, we did. So we could. I mean, this is a long way off, but we could finish this anytime we want because we have this construction office. Now, there is something else I thought about at one point, and that is, it's been a while since I looked, but this cinema is not big enough. So I was thinking, could we put in, not that way, can we put in a modded theater or something? Cinema. I mean, it's a small cinema too. Will you fit in like here? Right, and then are we better off with it? Maybe could it go this way? No. So are we better off with it this way or that way? I don't really know that it matters. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Let's just do it this way since it'll match up with the hospital. I, I mean with the footpath there. All right, and then the question is, do you have what you, before we move these guys out of here, if we do, smallest construction crew ever, right? Okay, well, yeah, you have a dumper, and you have, yeah, so we'll have to remember to come back up here, but he's going to need concrete, so he's going to be in a, need a concrete mixer. Do we have a mixer? Yeah. Let's just grab this guy. Put him in there while they're working on that one, right? Good, so there we go. So we'll, we'll get a few, a little bit more entertainment. And the reason I thought about that all that is because I think I got the suggestion and we tried, I tried a little experiment. I forget whether I even mentioned it to you guys, but I stopped purchasing the electronics in two other towns. And see, these people are almost completely happy. So we're going to stop purchasing electronics here because the point is, is that they don't, I don't think the electronics make them any happier unless they have, unless you have like a radio station. So it had been quite a while ago. Oh, that's the school. We should probably check the school, make sure everything's going okay over here. The, um, you know, you can see it's, it was a little while ago that I stopped buying the electronics and the people over here did not lose any happiness. And I think I also stopped it over here, or if I didn't, I will. And I say I stopped purchasing them over here as well. So even though the people can't get electronics, you know, I don't know that they're unhappy. Now there's not 10 tons of them that are like complaining about it either, right? Or well, here there is cuz this this one I took off first. So it doesn't seem to really be affecting their happiness that much at this point. So yeah, let's just save the money and get the loan paid off. I mean, if, and it makes sense, right? If you don't have a radio station, why do you need a radio? <laughs> so good. So thank you for that comment. That one definitely that one definitely worked out. And as, as definitely something I should start doing is cutting that electronics off from the very beginning. Um, and then we have this gas station. What are we doing here? Uh, we got a Mexican standoff. I don't know why they call that. I don't mean to be racist. It's, that's just what we've always called it. Where two people are just sitting there staring at each other and not not doing anything. So the only real way to break this, as far as I know, is to cancel is to cancel the project. Right, I don't know which project it was. This one. All right, because then like these buses need to bring the people, or else you can't do the work because they're blocking each other. All right, so let's get that going. Once they, and then the great thing is now we got the buses back to back. <laughs> yeah, so whatever. Ho hopefully they'll spread themselves out for some reason. There you go. This guy's back to work. Yeah, and then this that's probably done that one. So let's get that aside. I'll have to babysit that till they get past a certain point. And then once they get past that certain point, then I'll consider maybe sending, try to respace the buses out a little bit. Yeah, then we'll have this little head-to-head -head action going. But but hey, we're building building things. <laughs> so that's good. And then what else are we doing here? I forget what we were doing before I noticed that problem. 
Uh, I did want to look at the school. Yeah, we're doing well with the teachers. All right, let's head back over here. I think we're going to need to end the episode based on the time. Yeah, good on the teachers here. Yeah, a lot of students waiting. And see, here's where I did turn down, like, the numbers. Let's let's increase this back up. You know, so I do both, by the way. I don't. I just don't have some belief that one system is so much better than the other. It's both are valid as far as how you control people. All right, so how are we doing over here? Yeah, I mean we're, we're pumping out stuff. We're making money. Let's take a quick loan at our look at our population. Population's happy and you know a few escapes, but that's probably some of the plus twenty ones and. You know, I'm okay with that at this point. Like, until we get this in, then I might, we might try to ramp up Eggingham and the people a little bit more. But it's going to be a while before we build that, so there's no sense, in my opinion, in paying for all those people. All right, yeah, keep on keeping on. Okay, just keeping an eye on that. <laughs> so there you go. So we're really haven't changed that much but i just wanted to show you guys that and then let's take a look at our let's take our look at economy for last month since it's december all right there we go imports last month that's what i meant to do soviet block plus one hundred ninety thousand. you know sixty eight thousand. what are you know some food but we've cut down on that tremendously tiny bit of bitumen no big deal there you know we know that the chemicals but that's how we're making a lot of our money right turning chemicals so it would be good to get chemicals that we can make ourselves and yeah fuel but we're working towards getting proper fuel refinery going and electronics we just cut those off so that's kind of good and then we just have some meat look at even our meat is costing us fifteen thousand now so so there's our economy you know doing quite well paying off you know the, the loan which is down to you know, 1,000. Liam will we'll keep working on this town, and, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, things keep going pretty well. Oh, building is on fire. Where is that? You'll have to come back, the suspense, right? Uh, it's not too much suspense here. They'll almost certainly put that fire out. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll let you know. Let you know if the building burns down in the beginning of the next episode. All right, I hope you have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.